A Sorrow for Each Day St. Albert the Great said that as we are under great obligation to Jesus for his passion endured for our love, so also are we under great obligation to Mary for the martyrdom which she voluntarily suffered for our salvation in the death of her son. He said voluntarily suffered since it was revealed to St. Bridget by St. Agnes, our merciful and compassionate mother was willing to endure any torment to save the souls of men. So great a love has our Heavenly Mother for us that she deserves our gratitude, and that gratitude should be shown by at least meditating upon and consoling her in her sorrows. But she lamented to St. Bridget that very few did so, and that the greater part of the world lived in forgetfulness of them. I look around at all who are on earth to see if by chance there are any who pity me and meditate on my sorrows, and I find that there are very few. Therefore, my daughter, though I am forgotten by many, at least you do not forget me. Meditate on my sorrows and share in my grief as far as you can. Our Lord Jesus Christ revealed to Blessed Veronica of Binasco that he is more pleasing in seeing his mother compassionated than himself. He said to her, My daughter, tears shed for my passion are dear to me, but as I love my mother Mary with an immense love, the meditation on the torments which she endured at my death is even more agreeable to me. Therefore, the graces promised by Jesus to those who are devoted to the sorrows of Mary are very great. Pelbert relates that it was revealed to St. Elizabeth that after the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin into Heaven, St. John the Evangelist desired to see her again. The favor was granted to him, and Mary appeared to him accompanied by her son. The saint then heard Mary ask Jesus to grant some special grace to all those who are devoted to her sorrow. Our Lord promised her four principal ones. First, that those who before death invoke the Divine Mother in the name of her sorrows will obtain true repentance of all their sins. Second, that He will protect all who have this devotion in their tribulations and will protect them specially at the hour of death. Third, that he will impress on their minds the remembrance of his passion and will reward them in heaven for their devotion. Fourth, that he will place such devout servants in Mary's hands to do with them as she wishes and to obtain for them all the graces she desires. Monday O God, come to my assistance. O Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The First Sorrow of Mary, St. Simeon's Prophecy In the temple, St. Simeon had received the Divine Child in his arms and predicted that this child would be a sign of God, which shall be contradicted by men. Behold, this child is set for a sign which shall be contradicted, and thy own soul a sword shall pierce. Meditation The Blessed Virgin told Saint Matilda that when Saint Simeon pronounced these words, all her joy was changed into sorrow. For as was revealed to Saint Teresa, Although the Blessed Mother already knew that the life of her son would be sacrificed for the salvation of the world, she then learned more distinctly and in greater detail what sufferings and what a cruel death awaited him. She knew that he would be persecuted and opposed in every way. He would be opposed in his teaching instead of being believed. He would be called a blasphemer for claiming to be the Son of God. The reprobate Caiaphas was to say, He hath blasphemed. He is guilty of death. Matthew chapter 26 verses 65 to 66 
he would be opposed in his reputation, for though he was of noble, even of royal descent, he was despised as a peasant. Is not this the carpenter's son? Matthew chapter 13 verse 55 Is not this the carpenter, the son of Mary? Mark chapter 6 verse 3 he was wisdom itself and was treated as ignorant. How doth this man know letters, having never learned? John chapter 7 verse 15 As a false prophet, and they blindfolded him and smote his face, saying, Prophecy, who is it that struck thee? Luke chapter 22 verse 64 He was treated as a madman. He is mad, why hear you him? John chapter 10 verse 20 As a drunkard, a gluten, and a friend of sinners. Behold a man that is a gluten, a drinker of wine, a friend of publicans and sinners. Luke chapter 7 verse 34 As a sorcerer, by the prince of devils he casteth out devils. Matthew chapter 9 verse 34 as a heretic and one possessed by the evil spirit. Do not we say well that thou art a Samaritan and hast a devil? John chapter 8 verse 48 In short, Jesus was considered so notoriously wicked that as the Jews said to Pilate, no trial was necessary to condemn him. If he were not a malefactor, we would not have delivered him up to thee. John chapter 18 verses 30 Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. My mother, share thy grief with me, 
and let me bear thee company to mourn thy Jesus' death with thee.